Hey guys, DMike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Got a special treat for you all. You guys are gonna get into bed with DMike, just kidding. We've got a couple of hidden stars to pick up today. Once again, heading back to the Dusty Dunes. There's quite a few stars in this galaxy for some reason. This one's a little bit hidden today. So keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you shake the sand from your shorts. So we got a little bit of work to do. Hope you guys are all doing well, enjoying the content. If you are enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get up to the date notifications of the good old d Mike vidges. Love to read your comments as well. Like the videos. Alternatively, if you wouldn't mind, it helps the channel out a lot. So let's get to, uh, let's get to the goings ons here. We're going to make some haste here. This secret star is not super fun. It does involve us having to go through the rigmarole of collecting these star chips again. I think that's a really fun phrase. I don't quite know what it means. Rigmarole sounds like a type of a uh, a type of something you'd bring to a like a maybe a potluck in the Midwest. Hey, are you coming to the family reunion? Don't forget to bring that homemade rigmarole you make. It's a very strange thing. If anybody knows the origins of that strange phrase, I'd love to hear it. So we've got four. I feel like I'm doing much better with this current version of starship collecting than I normally do, which means that the rest of this episode is probably going to be an absolute disaster. Being able to complete that on the first try was not something I expected, so... I expect the worst. That's normal, right? Healthy. So yeah, collecting those star chips gets you a launch star. We're gonna blast off to this little planetoid. Now this planetoid is the one that we want. This is the one that's gonna get us to the hidden star. We're going to do our best not to get crabs again. Now, this specific island, or planet, to I don't know what to call it an island, it's not an island, is, uh, it's got a little secret, a little secret about it. So first things first, we're going to crush all these Goombas. We're going to take out all these crabs. We're going to try to take all these crabs out. These guys are very adverse to uh, getting hit with Mario's melons, coconuts, whatever these things are. But this is what we're looking for. We're looking for that uh, stump. Could remember what those were called. That's how you know you're having a good day when you forget basic words. Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah, it gets us a launch star. Here we go. Let's go. That will. Uh, pull us into this secondary sandy bowl area. And things are about to get a little explosive, if you know what I'm saying, saying, saying. So this one is a little tricky. I'm probably going to rack my head in frustration by trying to make this one happen. So we've got bullet bills here. Bullet Williams that are going to be shooting out all over the place. What we're going to want is there is a certain spot here where the... Come, on, come with me. That's not it. You can see that star there. And the difficulty of this one is getting the... The willies to follow you. This tower will rise and sink into the sand based on our control. So... We're going to want to have one of these guys aggro onto us as we try to dodge 
all of the various dry bones. I've got a bone to pick with these guys, if you know what I'm saying. Okay. So, trying to aggro the bullet bill is important. You're going to want to try to not go too fast. You're going to try to find the dome. No, 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 come back. <laughs> come on, man. We were so close to it. Anyway, what you're looking for is halfway in between the red and blue buttons. It's just, it's kind of a butt that you're not able to slow down enough. Like, I, I guess I need to take a little bit more of a scenic route. This is also why the game provides you with that life shroom, because this challenge is a bit of a, uh, is a bit turdish. So let's wait for the bullet bill to restock. Here we go. We're going to pop that. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. We're going to pop lock and drop it. See if I can get him to come down here. Hello? Sir? Thank you. This actually might be good. Nope. Sir? No. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going swimmingly. In case you guys are wondering, this is not how this star is supposed to go, so... But then again, what is? You know, life is what you make it. Home is where you make it. If you know what I'm saying. If you understand that reference at all. Okay. So hopefully this bullet bill will... <sighs> As I was trying to say... I'm just going to step on it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can make this easier by having the audacity to re-murder the dry bones. There is a... There is a superstar that you can grab. I mean, that's a thing. Okay. Looks like an infestation. Although I feel like an infestation of turtles would be really cute. Like, I'm sure you've seen those, um... Those pictures of, like, turtles, like, that are out to, uh... That are, like, being, um... Oh, come on! You ran into each other? You're such a bunch of ding-dongs! I feel like I just have to run around twice. Whenever you see them doing, like, uh, sea turtles, those sea turtle releases in the ocean, and there's, like, hundreds of them that hopefully uh, can make it to repopulate the the toitles. Because, I mean, who doesn't like toitles? All right, I don't know what I'm doing standing on this button because it's not going to get me anywhere. The orange one's what I needed. I got distracted by my appreciation for tortugas. All right, so we're going to try that again and again and again and again. I don't want to be disingenuous and cut away, because that's not fun. So instead, I'm going to wait for this to pop up. I'm going to wait for him to pop out. He's prairie dogging. There we go. Okay, so we're in business again for the 700th time. Just going to run around a bit. Hopefully not run into any of the dry bones in the process. Stay away. We're going to run around twice. No, hello, sir. Hello. Sir, no. Quit. Stop. Nope. No, oh. Well, I didn't need those. This is compelling. Compelling content for you all. Hopefully my sense of humor isn't too dry, if you know what I'm saying. All right. So take 500. Yeah, this is probably not meant to be this difficult, but then again, you are watching a D mic let's play. Therefore, um, let's not get our hopes up for quality, because that does not happen on this channel. That's not what we're about. Okay, so hopefully he can avoid that dry bones. Now that we took out that star bit dome, that might make things a little bit easier, to be honest. Maybe. There's probably infinite ways to make this easier, but that's not... That's not fun, is it? Doing this the easy way isn't... I mean, I would love to actually do this the easy way. I don't quite know what the easy way is. I wonder if I could get up here, though. And try to do things... Got... Yeah. Oh, nope. I'm going to try to see if I can lure a bullet bill from the top instead of having to do this the old-fashioned way. And everybody loves an old-fashioned. That's a fact. Oh, uh, there's just so many of you. It's like my fans that watch my, my videos. There's just so many of you. 
always trying to get my attention and stalk me in public that I secretly love. Not really. Don't do that, folks. That's weird. Um, okay. This is not... <laughs> this is an absolute disaster. It's a beautiful disaster, though. So think of it this way. There we go. All right. So I don't know if I can attract the bullet bill from up here. I am very attractive, so I can't see why they wouldn't want to follow me. Hello, sir. Sir, hello. Okay. I don't think that worked. I don't think we got their attention. I'll be lucky if I can get three stars in this episode with the rate I'm going. Trying to stay in good spirits. Get off me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. They just respond so fast. It's like instantly. Do some iframes. They also make the boo sound. I didn't notice that. That's kind of strange. All right. Ah, I just fell off the tower. That's good. Let's try it one more time the old fashioned way. And then we'll come back. We're just having a good time playing a nice cash run through of Mario. The last couple of Mario videos have been a little shorter. So how about a longer one of me just being inept at this game? Trust me, this was not planned. It never is. I'm going to try to run the other way this time and see what happens. Okay, so tower on. Ground control to Major Tom. Let's see if we can lure him this way, it this way. Come back, come back. Ah, well, that would have been giving me the superstar at least. That's the problem is just that the Bullet Bill's flight pattern is very finicky. Being able to get rid of all these dry bones would probably be pretty helpful, I would say, as somebody who is clearly failing at this over and over again. But this is at least somewhat enjoyable to watch for someone. The sadists among us. Come on. Come on. I'm just trying to slow it down a little bit. Take a little bit of a scenic route. Come on. Don't run into each other. Don't. Thank you. There it is. That was enjoyable, right? Oh, and it's at the top of the tower. Why not? Okay. This is absolutely insult to injury. But you know what? I'm not climbing that tower again. I'm letting that tower come to me. I've already pulled myself up on my bootstraps enough. My bootstraps need to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. How about that? Let's grab that star. Get the heck out of here. Okay. That's a... That's star grabbing, uh... Star grabbing 101. Galaxy complete? Thank goodness. All right, so let's see what we've got left. We do have a freeze flame purple comet. We have a gusty garden we could do. Let's try the freeze flame, as if we haven't already punished ourselves enough. I remember this one actually being pretty tough, so I'm gonna do my best at it. Was not planning to do this star, but heck with it. This one I remember being tough just because the stars were in very strange places and you have to go all the way to the top to get all the stars that you need. So that does take a bit, but we'll see it through. I was about to give like a big exhale of like just pure disgust knowing what I'm in for. I don't know if I can, if I can backwards Luma jump up here. I, don't, I feel like there's stars at the top of this slide. Could be wrong. Okay, just kidding. Hey. Worth a, worth a check. A little look and see. This star is pretty chill. Hope you guys don't mind. Nothing like a freeze flame star to... I thought that was actually a coin. It was not. Nothing like a freeze flame star to kind of cool off in the hot summer months. Don't forget to activate that. You need your... You need your ice flower in order to make your progress here. Whoop. Okay, so far so good. I feel like I say that a lot, but I don't know if I mean it. It's more like so far, eh, you know what I'm saying? So far not horrific. Oh, okay. 
Well, we got this. We got the. We got the coin. So that's work. So that's work. It is work, but that's not what I meant to say. I don't know if this leads me to anything. It does not. That was fun. Okay. So let's keep. Oh, see, they're trying to hide. That's what these developers did. It's very sneaky. Is they hide these purple coins in some pretty innocuous places that you would not expect. So you got to keep your eyes peeled. And your bananas peeled. I mean, you don't have to peel your bananas, but... I don't know if I would associate with any sort of a monster who eats a banana with a peel steel on. Alright, so if I could grab this, this would be awesome. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. There we go. Easy, see? Everything is so easy in this game. Easy, easy peasy. All right. So I'm actually going to grab the last purple coin over here, the one that was hiding out. Try to do these in somewhat of a semblance of an order. Okay. So coming up here, that's like a little bit of a slide. That's fun. Not really sure what the point of the life stream is, but hey, whatever. Okay. So that's pretty good. We're... Just about a quarter of the way there, as we're about to fall to our watery grave. Awesome. Time to go back up top. The rest of the stars, I believe, are acquired via ascent. Okay. So I don't think there's anything left. I can't... Unfortunately, I can't rotate the camera. I would <laughs> be best to grab this one real quick. Yeah, we'll come back to these. I want to grab... As many as I can on this mid-level here. I've got a feeling that there's probably going to be one or two that I forget to grab early. And then I'm going to be racking my brain trying to figure out what I missed. This is just going to be like 10 minutes of me trial and erroring to find that one last star coin that I couldn't get. Hopefully it doesn't get to that. I'm going to get a little tricky here. Okay, well never mind. It would have been cool if I would have been able to pull that off, but that would have been uncharacteristic for this Let's Play. Nobody wants that. You do things on the first try, people are going to think that I'm cheating. Trust me. Sometimes I wish I would in this game because it would make my life a lot easier. But instead, D-Mike does things the hard way. You know why? Because I care about you guys. That's quality. Quality over quantity. I think, or something. That's what I was always told growing up. But what if you want a lot of something? Then quantity is good. All right. So we got some three very precariously stacked coins over here. Oh, there's a couple down there. That's nice. Let's grab all the ones we can up here first. We don't want to make a dip back down there just, just yet. That would be counterintuitive. All right. So yeah, this one isn't too bad. I mean, it's bad enough in the sense that it's a purple coin mission. So I mean, like, we'll just say that. But, you know, beyond that. So we'll have to actually summit the Freeze Flame Mountain in order to get all the coins, I believe. I don't know if there's any back here that they're hiding. Yes, of course. You kind of have to think outside the box a little bit with missions like these. Because the whole point is they're trying to throw you off with the, with the coins available, with what they expect from you. I mean, everything can't be in plain sight or else it wouldn't be a purple coin mission. This has got to be like as masochistic as possible. Didn't really need that. That's okay. We're just going to walk around. Should be able to head back down here shortly. We're doing really well, actually, for once. I should not say those words, for the game will not hesitate to punish me. Okay, so we're going to head back down. And if we remember, past these toads, there was some, uh, there was a purple coin here. And a launch star that we don't need. And that's the one thing 
and that really grinds my gears about this game is the fixed camera, which you're able to move it sometimes, but in general, not really. That's a pain in my behind. My beautiful, beautiful behind. It's a little frustrating. I don't know if I can make this from here. Oop. Get there, Mario. Beautiful. All right. So just going to take a quick look around. I don't think I missed anything. Trying to be very thoughtful. The rest of this acquisition, this conquest, is going to be done. Oop. Sorry, Mario. We're going to summit the mountain like we did... Uh, correctly eventually or previous I don't know what I said eventually that makes it sound like it's in the it hasn't happened yet it has happened nope not like that I'm gonna try this again or, or not okay well done me Super Mario Galaxy 1 D Mike 0 we're doing our best Hopefully you guys recognize and appreciate that. Okay, I jumped too hard. Whew. Come on, game, really? Give me the triple jump. Kind of feels like I'm doing something with the Olympics. Some gymnastics. Which, fun fact, the Olympics start tomorrow. Based on when I'm recording this. Probably not when you watch it, but they'll be... I've, They'll have started already. But yeah, that's fun, right? I mean, it's kind of a bit of a sticky situation because I know that these Olympics aren't going to go without a hitch, unfortunately, given the current state of what's going on. But hopefully the athletes all have a good time with their friends and their families that are able to attend. Anybody who's probably not friends, but maybe their families and whoever's like immediately available just to uh, cheer them on. Hopefully, Team USA does well from the uh, my home country. If you couldn't have already, t if you couldn't already tell. All right, so I actually do need that fire flower. Whoops! We're gonna go back and grab it. Try not to die. That would be very embarrassing. That's a good way to rage quit a recording. If I wouldn't have had to redo that desert mission 900 times, I probably would have been okay. Come on, boys. Get up there, I'm gonna just destroy this snowman. There we go. Destroy that wintery fun. Whew. This is very harrowing. I'm a little scared. This part is actually a little tough, so... I'm gonna try not to... Accidentally ruined the run already. We're getting pretty close. Oh. Whew. All right. Tuck on in. There you go. There we go, fellas. That's what we like to see. Ooh. That's not good. Ooh. Okay. We'll take a roundabout way. I'm all about ingenuity, using my resources. Thinking outside the box if I need to. What am I thinking inside the box? What am I thinking outside the circle? Why is everybody so fascinated with uh, circles and squares? Let's give hexagons some love. How about that? Hopefully there are 11 coins up here. If there are not, I'm going to be pretty peeved. Oof. These next two jumps are not fun. Okay. Using Mario's shadow there is actually pretty nice to find out where you're going to land. So we need six more coins, and I feel like I don't... I don't know if there are six coins up here. I hope so. Oh, we're facing the wrong way. Oh, boy. No. No, please. Have mercy. Let me land over here. Oh. Oh, bless. That was... That was scary. I like the nice touch of Mario's footprints in the sand. Not sand. This is snow. I got dusty dunes in the brain. I'm, you know what? Let's be safe about this. You, The window to be able to do this is so small, though. Kind of a pain in the butt. Nope. You have to be facing sideways to wall jump, Mario. That would help. 
Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. That's not six coins. <laughs> I gotta find out where I'm missing some. Oh, there they are. I see them. Hopefully that's three, though. Oh, this is a messed up set of coins. Just two, though. Okay, so I'm missing one. I knew that was gonna happen. What I want to figure out is where that third one is. Oh, goodness. I feel like there's not one back up here, but I'm gonna check just in case. This is what I said would happen. I knew that I'd get to one final coin and then I'd have trouble finding it. I'm gonna just jump all the way back up here, see if I can get a better vantage point. Probably not. Hopefully I don't kill myself in the process. Bear with me while I do this very obnoxious jumping. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that would be... That would be unfortunate if that's where that final coin was. So we're gonna... Keep peeping around here. Oh, there... <laughs> it's right there. Okay, great. Oh, that's a lot of coins. Not the right kind, though. Gather water. I remember seeing this purple coin earlier, but for some reason it didn't register in my brain to grab it, so... At least I... I'm not gonna be searching forever. No cutaways needed. I don't want to bamboozle you guys. Alright. I'm gonna jump up here. We can jump up here. We can jump up here. Okay. Oh. That just puts me back where I was. Oh, goodness. We can jump up here. We can jump up here. Okay. Whew. Take a deep breath, everybody. We did it. We made it. We were able to conquer the freeze flame purple coin hell. Ooh. So far, so good. That only took us most of the video. Great. I feel bad. It looks like this one's going to wind up being a three-star episode just by virtue of time. Because I don't think I really want to do any more of these ones. But hey, we did finish uh, Freeze Flame, so that's fun. We'll come back to Gusty Garden. I want to do a quicker one just to save my sanity. So to do that, we're going to head up to the kitchen, which is not this way. Get you some more Comet Observatory theme in the process. One of my favorite tunes in all of Mario. So, kudos to whoever composed this. Nope. Get away from me. Oh, we'll try that again. There we go. I got a bone to pick with Beach Bowl. Was not able to do it last time, if you guys remember, because I got railroaded into doing a purple coin mission I didn't want to do. So instead, I'm going to do this star that I want to do this time. My choice. My rules. So this one, we're not going undersea. We're not doing anything cavernous, but we are, we are doing a secret. So in this mission, if we remember, one of the things that all the students in the, in Club Penguin are doing is there's a special, special shell that they're chasing around, if you remember. We're gonna try to find it. Hopefully we can. They're all bragging. So it's gonna be in this chest here. You can see it's a sparkle sparkling little shin shine. Oh, okay. That was pretty rude. Hope someone eats you. Okay. Let's try that again. Oof, I almost ran into that again. That would have been unfortunate. We're gonna launch. Okay, maybe it's not in there. I got excited for a moment. Okay. So we're gonna go all around. I actually feel like maybe this isn't this... Hmm. I don't know if this is the correct star for the secret. It says that it is. But I remember we need we need that golden shell. You know, we've already done all this stuff. 
And I don't know if that golden shell exists in one of these chests or not. So, just to spoiler it for you. I'm gonna grab ourselves a coin real quick before we loop around and see if we can find the golden shell. If you remember, there was the penguin swim class. That is not a golden shell. So I'm not entirely sure this is what star... It says that it is, but I feel a little misled. Yes, we've already done all this. Thank you, guys. So there is a... Um, I don't believe this is the one that it wants me to do. So I'm going to back out real quick because I feel like I'm being misled here. Yes. So we're going to try this again. I don't need the game trying to tell me what to do. Thankfully, it didn't make us go all the way to the observatory grounds. That would have been annoying. So it's the swim class. Yes. So in this one, there is a golden shell, if you remember. So, and that was the way that you passed the swim class, was you got the golden shell. So this is like maybe a secret secret shell. I don't know. However you want to look at it. But one of these goobers has a golden shell and we won it. So as soon as we find them, we're gonna steal it, because that's what good people do. You steal from from wildlife, they don't need it. Let's see if we can find it. I don't know if I have to engage something to get this to go. It's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me for a moment. Thank you. I might have to talk to the head honcho here, the top penguino. If I could get out of the water, that'd be great. Alright, so I did. There we go. Okay, so that should probably do it. I think that that is the flag for getting the golden shell. So, you can see this guy here has it. We're gonna steal it, because... take that. Alright, so now that we've got this golden shell, we can do... So fancy pants stuff with it. So instead of giving it to Master Penguin, we're going to take a little bit of a detour with it. You might be thinking, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to try not to hit the Y button because that would throw the shell and that would make me very mad. You can get away from me, Mr. Naruto Penguin. There is a secret over here. This chest. Gives us a launch star. I don't know if you necessarily need that specific shell to do that, but all the things that I've seen in the past hinted at it, so maybe. We got some cataquacks here hanging around. Oh, I need to lure this guy over here. So this coin up above is the one that houses the power up. Hello, sir? Sir, hello? Sir, hello? Come with me, please. Thank you. Okay. Right this way. Use the shadow of the coin to help you out. And get yourself Ice Flower. That's what this... Apparently this, uh... This episode is all about. Keeping things chilly. You can use this to wall jump if you remember. That is required. Hopefully we can get two sets of these done in the time that this runs out. All right, that's pretty effective. I feel like I can get up here without it. Yeah, all right. So this one, I believe, the star is over there. And we can't get it right away, so we actually need to have the Cataquack come with us. And lure him over here. Launch us into it, and bam! That's a star, ladies and gentlemen. This episode's running long, so I'm going to cut it out here quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for up-to-the-date videos, and I'll see you guys next time. I've been D-Mike, have a good one everybody. Bye!